Okay, so this is going to be a video to explain how to use Google Sheets to take data like this and put it into a data table. Okay, the next video will talk about how to put it into a graph. So what I've done here is I've taken all this data and I've put it here. So I've kind of organized it by the type of fuel, which was A, B, C, and D, which I got from here, A, B, C, and D. And then I put trial one, two, and three across the top. I put average, talk about that later. And then I put in the different ones, okay? So I, I did all that. Now notice here, I did not put in kilojoules. That's because I'm gonna put it up here. So I'm gonna call this the energy used by each, by the fuel. Okay, and in parentheses, I'm going to put kg. I'm going to put kilojoules, okay? So I have all this information here. Now, I also, I'll do that later, but so here, I'm going to take these three and I'm going to highlight them. So I just clicked and dragged, and I'm going to click on this one, which is merge cells. So I'm going to make that all just one there but I'm not gonna do anything with the others. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of these. I'm gonna come up to here. And I'm gonna put in a border, okay? Like that. I'm gonna click on this one here and I'm gonna put in a border also, all right? I might highlight that one, whoops. Highlight that one like that. And then up here, I'm gonna put table one and, right? the amount of energy, I'm gonna put kg again, produced by each fuel. Okay, so nice script, I take that table one. If I was making another table, I would write table two and the title down here, okay? So once I've done that, then I need to figure out the averages. Now, before you go grab your calculator, there's an easy way th that Google Sheets will do this. And this is probably the greatest um, benefit of that. If you click up here where it says FX, which is a function, you click there and you type in equals. And if you type in average and then parentheses, you can highlight these three and, what, and then close that bracket. So what this is telling you is to determine the average of these three figures. So I do that and it's done it for you, all right? So I'll show you again. So I hit equals, I do average, and then I highlight the three. I want the averages of those three. Hit enter, it does it for you. Now, another cute little trick, because this is all nicely organized. If I click that and I drag it down, I end up with that. Now this one, I just want to change it. So if I click up here, if I click here, I can increase the decimal points. If I go this way, I can decrease them. So I just want them all to be the same like that. All right, and I have a nice, neat little table there that's very, very easy to do, okay? Again, the trick here is if you're using an iPad also to make sure to follow the previous video about how to get it so that it shows all of this. Okay. All right. Thank you.